So you're looking for a lightweight titanium hot tent stove, but you don't want to spend a million dollars. Stay tuned because I've got a great option for you. What's going on? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. Today we're going to take a closer look at the Danchel Outdoors Lightweight Titanium Hot Tent Stove. This is a lightweight hot tent stove designed for maximum portability and the price tag is not bad. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. The Danchel Outdoor Lightweight Titanium Stove comes in a really cool carry case. The case is really streamlined to fit the stove and then it has a pocket sewn right into the outside for you to put the stove pipe. The weight on the stove comes in at just under four pounds, which makes it a really reasonable weight for a hot tent stove if you're gonna be backpacking or pulling this in a bulk sled. So this is the main body of the stove. There's two parts to the main body of the stove. You have the lid and then the whole rest of the stove in this other part. So the back section folds out like this. The front section with the view window folds out like so. The legs fold out from the bottom. The side folds out. It just kind of locks into place like that. And then the other side. So there's no screws or anything you have to do to assemble this. It just kind of clicks into place, which is really nice. Now the sides of the stove lock into place with these little toggle switches. So it just slides right on over and keeps that in place. Same thing with this one. Slides right on over, that little tab locks right down into place. Now the lid just fits on over the top and it locks into position. Just like that. Now the next part, and potentially the most frustrating part for any titanium stove, is rolling up this stove pipe. It can be kind of hard, especially the first time that you go to do it, and you want to wear gloves. It's really thin material, it's just going to slice you up if you don't wear gloves. The thing you really want to avoid is getting any crinkles. Just like a piece of tin foil, once you put a crinkle in it, that crinkle never really comes back. You can kind of press on it and flatten it out, but it's still kind of always there. So you really want to avoid crinkling the pipe or else you're going to end up with this horrible looking crinkle pipe and it's not really going to work back. The trick to rolling one of these is that you want to kind of start to roll it on an angle. And once that roll starts to turn into a tube, you put those rings on. It can be kind of tricky, so practice at home a couple times. Now I want to show you something. This is a spark arrestor. And you'll notice a couple things about this. Notice there's some little key rings on it. And these are going through this really thin titanium. And this is designed to be used as a die out point and guy out the top of your stove pipe if it happens to be windy. See up close, right? That is a key ring and it's this really thin, thin, thin titanium. I haven't tried this function yet. I think if the, the wind really kicked up, this would make me a little bit nervous. It's the only way to tie it down, but I haven't actually used the tie out, so I can't speak to that, but that would make me a little nervous. I want to point out the position of the flue pipe with respect to the housing, which is right down here. When you go to hook up a rollable flue pipe on the Danchel stove or any other stove for that matter, you want to make sure that this pipe is on the outside of this housing and that you slide this clamp down over top of it. Sometimes I'll see people where they have the stove pipe on the inside of that housing and then they have the clamp around it and that leaves tiny little spaces where smoke and burning material can come up and that can smoke you out of your tent or cause a fire so please don't do that so take the time to get this around that housing properly it can be a little cumbersome take a couple extra minutes 
usually I'll go ahead and I'll slide these rings up and that'll allow me to unwrap the end a little bit larger in diameter. So it will slide right on there Then I'll slide the ring back down into position and then I'll slide this clamp on and then tighten it up. But once it's on there, you know, it's on there good and secure, but just make sure that it's in the appropriate position before you light it up. We've got the main door here. It's got a little key ring on it. This opens up and the door slides open. Same thing to close. And then the front damper key ring slides back and forth. Now, of course, when this is running, it's going to be hot. So you're going to want to use this little device. You can hook it through this ring, lift it up, open the door, load your wood, bring it back back down. Same thing with the damper. Open and close the damper like so. That little stove is really putting off some heat. It's drawn really, really good, too. I'm really, really impressed. Oh, yeah. This little stove is putting off a lot of heat. The thing I think I was the most impressed about was the foldability of the design and how well it's venting. I've always used a stainless steel stove in the past that's been kind of like a solid welded firebox. I was worried with this firebox design because of the hinges on the side and the little clasps that you have to do up that there was going to be some kind of weird venting issues or maybe there might even be smoke coming out of those areas so far i haven't actually seen any of that and i'm really impressed with it it hasn't really warped since i started using it of course all stoves do kind of change a little bit after that first burn compared to the factory state that they were in but this one's not too bad and honestly for the price you can pick this one up for around 300 bucks you're looking at your big names for titanium hot tent stoves you're looking at spending over 500 dollars so for a budget option to get yourself a good solid stove i'd say it's totally worth it click right on over here you can check out the Winterwell nomad which is another solid stove or click down at the bottom to see my budget hot tent